Black holes, the enigmatic and powerful entities of the cosmos have long been a subject of fascination and intrigue. Despite their immense gravitational pull, they remain largely invisible, making them a paradox of sorts. They are massive, with some weighing up to two to four million times the mass of the sun. Over the past few decades, our understanding of these celestial phenomena has grown exponentially, thanks to extensive research. Recently, the renowned physicist Michio Kaku announced that we have finally managed to peek inside a black hole, shedding light on details that may have been overlooked by the scientific community. This video delves deeper into the mysteries of black holes and reveals what lies within these cosmic giants. The concept of black holes was first introduced in 1916 when Albert Einstein published his theory of general relativity, which predicted their existence. However, it wasn't until the 1960s that the scientific community found evidence supporting this theory. Researchers studying the Cygnus constellation noticed an unusually bright blue star emitting X-rays. Upon further investigation, it was discovered that these X-rays were being absorbed by a massive, dark entity, leading to the term black hole. This discovery was a significant milestone, as it provided tangible proof that black holes were not just a product of Einstein's imagination. The black hole, named Cygnus X-1, is located approximately 6,000 light-years from Earth in the Cygnus constellation. It is incredibly bright, about 14 times brighter than the Sun, and possesses an extraordinary gravitational pull. This gravitational force is so strong that not even light can escape it, hence the term black hole. The concept of a black hole is both fascinating and terrifying. It is a region of space where gravity is so powerful that nothing, not even light, can escape its grasp. Anything that ventures too close to a black hole is inevitably pulled in, never to be seen again. This inherent danger underscores the importance of understanding everything there is to know about these cosmic entities. Following the discovery of Cygnus X-1, scientists began searching for other black holes. They estimated that there could be over 100 million black holes in the Milky Way alone. However, due to their elusive nature, we still don't have an exact count. Nevertheless, it is believed that there are several million black holes in our galaxy, making their study even more crucial. The primary concern with black holes is their immense gravitational pull. Their gravity is so intense that anything that enters it is compressed to an astronomical degree until it becomes a singularity. In simpler terms, Black holes act like cosmic vacuum cleaners, absorbing everything in their path. One of the most terrifying aspects of black hole research is the idea that if someone were to fall into one, they would be stretched to the point of becoming a single line. This process, known as spaghettification, would occur slowly, and the individual would perish before reaching their final form. Despite the fact that the closest black hole to Earth is 1,500 light-years away, its proximity still raises questions and concerns. In 2021, scientists were able to release the first clear photograph of a black hole, specifically the M87 black hole. This black hole was photographed over several nights, and with each snapshot, researchers gathered more information about it. They had to compile the individual photos to create a comprehensive image that filled all the gaps. Through this process, they discovered that a black hole is not just a single gaping void of nothingness, as many people believe. Instead, it consists of three layers. The first layer is known as the event horizon. This is the point of no return. Once you cross the event horizon, there is no turning back, and you will inevitably be sucked into the black hole. The second layer is the photon sphere, a region where light orbits the black hole. Any light that enters this region is trapped and cannot escape the black hole's gravitational pull. Finally, the third layer is the singularity. This is where everything that enters the black hole is compressed to an astronomical degree until it becomes a singularity. The singularity is a point in space-time where the laws of physics as we know them break down and we cannot predict what happens next. At the singularity, the density is infinite and the laws of physics cease to exist. Each black hole is unique, following the same three-layer concept but functioning differently. Studying black holes is a complex task because they can only be studied indirectly by observing the radiation they emit and the gas and dust that surrounds them. 
Sending a probe inside a black hole is not possible, because anything that enters the event horizon is pulled towards the singularity where it is compressed to an infinitely small point. Therefore, scientists are left with no option but to study these objects in a two-dimensional way, even though they are three-dimensional phenomena in reality. There are many theories and explanations about black holes, and each one makes things more interesting. One of the most compelling theories about the formation of black holes is that they are created from collapsed stars. When a star exhausts all of its fuel, it can no longer produce enough energy to counteract the force of gravity that is constantly pulling inward. As a result, the star begins to collapse in on itself, becoming smaller and denser. If the star is massive enough, this process can continue until it becomes a singularity. To understand the nature of black holes in depth, NASA scientists turned their attention to the core of the galaxy M87. Astronomers observed a super-powerful whirlpool of super-hot hydrogen gas that was spinning at an astonishing rate of 1.2 million miles per hour. The sheer force of this spinning disk of gas should have caused it to violently fly apart in all directions, but it didn't. Scientists deduced that there had to be a colossal mass concentrated at the center of the galaxy to prevent this from happening. This massive object weighed as much as two to three billion suns and could only be a black hole. In 1963, New Zealand mathematician Roy Kerr used Einstein's equations of gravity to provide the best description of a spinning black hole. Kerr showed that a spinning black hole wouldn't collapse into a point as previously thought, but to a ring of fire or a thin disk. The disk would be spinning so rapidly that centrifugal forces would keep it from collapsing. This spinning disk of matter is called the ergosphere, and it is the region surrounding the black hole where the laws of physics start to break down. Kerr's solution also predicted the existence of an Einstein-Rosen bridge, also known as a wormhole. This is a theoretical passage through space-time that connects two separate regions of the universe, or even two parallel universes. The idea is that if one were to fall into a black hole, instead of being crushed to oblivion, one would be sucked down a tunnel through the ring of fire and shot out a white hole in a parallel universe. To understand how this works, we need to look at the concept of space-time. In Einstein's theory, space and time are not separate entities but are interconnected, forming a four-dimensional fabric called space-time. Objects with mass warp this fabric, creating a gravitational field that causes other objects to move toward them. Now, imagine a sheet of paper representing space-time. If you place two points on the paper and draw a line between them, this is a representation of how objects move through space-time. But what if you could fold the paper in half and create a shortcut between the two points? This is the basic idea behind a wormhole. It's a shortcut through space-time that connects two distant points in an instant. Wormholes aren't just a concept of science fiction. They are a prediction of general relativity. However, no one has ever observed one directly. The reason is that wormholes are inherently unstable and would collapse almost immediately. But the existence of an Einstein-Rosen bridge would mean that black holes are not just cosmic vacuum cleaners, but could also be portals to other regions of space-time. Could we use a wormhole to travel through space and time? Unfortunately, the answer is probably no, at least not yet. Even if we could stabilize a wormhole, it's unlikely that we could use it to travel faster than light. Einstein's theory of special relativity predicts that the speed of light is an absolute limit on how fast anything can travel through space-time. But even then, the theory of wormholes and black holes as pathways to other parts of the universe or even to different times has been a subject of fascination and speculation among physicists for decades. One of the most intriguing concepts in this area of study is the Kerr wormhole, named after mathematician Roy Kerr, who first described it using Einstein's equations of gravity. This type of wormhole is essentially a hypothetical tunnel through space-time that could connect two distant points, such as two different universes or even two different times within the same universe. The Kerr wormhole is often visualized as a ring-shaped portal, similar to the looking glass in the story of Alice in Wonderland. Just as Alice was transported to a world where animals spoke in riddles and logic didn't always apply, 
passing through the Cure Ring could potentially transport a traveler to another universe, or another time where the laws of physics might be very different from those we are familiar with. However, the idea of wormholes as a means of interstellar travel or time travel is a subject of controversy and debate among physicists. Some have pointed out that wormholes, particularly Kerr wormholes, might be unstable or impossible to traverse due to the intense radiation and subatomic forces surrounding their entrance. The critics argue that Einstein's equations of gravity, which are used to describe wormholes and black holes, only work for gravity and not the quantum forces that govern radiation and subatomic particles. In order to truly understand the nature of these phenomena, a new theory is needed that can unite the laws of gravity with a quantum theory of radiation. This is often referred to as a theory of everything, a single theory that can unite both Einstein's theory of gravity and the quantum theory. Mikio Kaku, a renowned theoretical physicist, has been working on a theory of everything for decades. The most promising candidate so far is superstring theory. Superstring theory unites gravity with the theory of radiation. The theory proposes that subatomic particles are actually tiny vibrating strings and that the universe is a symphony of these strings. Just as different musical notes correspond to different vibrations of a violin string, different particles in nature correspond to different vibrations of a superstring. One of the fascinating things about superstring theory is that as a string moves in time, it warps the fabric of space around it, producing black holes, wormholes, and other exotic solutions of Einstein's equations. This means that superstring theory not only unites Einstein's theory of gravity with the quantum theory, but it also explains many of the mysterious phenomena that we observe in the universe. However, superstring theory requires 10 dimensions of space-time in which the strings can vibrate. This is quite different from the three dimensions of space and one dimension of time that we experience in our everyday lives. It's difficult to imagine what these extra dimensions might be like, but physicists have developed some conceptual models that can help us understand. Consider a two-dimensional pond inhabited by fish that are unaware of the third dimension above them. They can move forward, backward, left and right, but have no concept of up or down. To them, the world is entirely flat. However, if a lily pad were to suddenly appear on the surface of the pond, the fish would be baffled. From their perspective, it would seem as if the lily pad had materialized out of nowhere. In reality, the lily pad was simply moving in a dimension that the fish could not perceive. In a similar way, the extra dimensions predicted by superstring theory could be all around us, but we are unable to perceive them because we are confined to our three-dimensional world. These extra dimensions could be incredibly small, curled up at every point in space, or they could be large and expansive, but we are unable to access them. The concept of extra dimensions is not just theoretical. There are experiments underway at the Large Hadron Collider in Geneva, Switzerland, that are designed to detect the presence of extra dimensions. If these experiments are successful, they could provide the first empirical evidence for superstring theory and open up a whole new realm of physics. Black holes are one of the most fascinating and enigmatic phenomena in the universe. They are regions of space where gravity is so strong that nothing, not even light, can escape. Despite their destructive nature, they could also be gateways to other universes or times. The study of black holes and their potential as wormholes is a frontier of modern physics, and the discoveries made in this field could revolutionize our understanding of the universe.